Hey guys, we're back out at a property you might be familiar with. It was the one, uh, well heck, I made a couple pigeon videos here and, and that uh, poison versus pellets, ground squills, which is exactly why I'm back. The ground squills have returned to this property with a vengeance. I hammered them down really hard last year, but they bounced back furiously because the property is now flanked on both sides by beans. Now beans is one of their favorite foods, so they like to be on the open area like this in the grass and then feed off the ridge of the beans. So there is just holes everywhere on this property again. In fact, I got a text from the landowner. Just want to let you know, we have 30 gophers in our yard and I am a very bad shot. 35 rounds, one kill, and two wounds, maybe. <laughs> I saw over on the picnic table what she was shooting. It looked like 22 shorts. And yep, once again, got the 25 Bobcat out. I am just enamored by the 25 caliber. I'm a believer now, I'm a convert, if you will. The caliber is just so much more forgiving than 2.2 or 1.7. The diameter of that pellet and the hitting power has me completely convinced that, that 2.5 is probably my future caliber for hunting. Now you wanna say you wanna go to 3.0 caliber, well now you're dealing with a shot count issue, so I think that 2.5, for me, is the best bang for the buck. Uh, this is the long tube on my Bobcat here, which gives me 85, 90 shots per fill, which basically takes care of me all day. And this day is just as gorgeous of a Wisconsin summer day as you could possibly get. Wind is variable, five to 10 miles an hour out of the east. And about the only thing that could possibly make this day even better would be a beer in my hand. Oh, and there you go. <laughs> Through the magic of video editing and an unlocked garage. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get to it. Now this shot is not a good one. The swirling winds got the best of me. The zero degree wind promptly shifted to a 90 degree wind and pushed my pellet three quarters of an inch off its mark. And you would guess that this would be a wounding shot and probably a pretty ugly one at that, but it wasn't. It was an absolutely clean kill shot. This is why I'm opting for the 25 caliber. hear them chirping around front. So when you hear that, that that is the sound of the ground squirrels warning call so that they usually do that sound right as they're heading down their hole. Off I go. Big mama. Here's another misjudgment of the wind on my part. 
again is about a half inch, three quarter inches off, and again, same result. Instant clean kill, despite my lousy shot. I forgot my belt today too, so my range finder and my pellets kind of weighing me down. Feeling a bit gangsta. <laughs> By the way, you like my new hat? Hmm? You know what a hat like this says? It says that I've reached a point, an age, where I care more about thymine dimers than I do impressing any young ladies. <laughs> All right, back up into my crow's nest. How about this one? This pellet drifted on me further than I wanted it, and I placed a shot poorly on the animal's jaw. This is about the worst shot I ever want to put on an animal. Bird, mammal, fish, all of them. This is a horrible shot. So you can imagine my surprise when I walked up to where the animal was shot and discovered this. All right, that shot is worth talking about because it wasn't a good one but it was with a very powerful 25 caliber. If you look at the little bugger, it went in right there by his nose and came out his cheek. That 25 caliber hit him so hard that even though it didn't hit his brain, caused the concussion that was great enough to kill him and kill him instantly at that. This is why, right here, why I love the 25 caliber and why I've been grabbing it over all of the calibers lately. Granted, a 30 caliber could do this too, but uh, there's a lot of diminishing returns. We could use like a 100 caliber. <laughs> Just remove the gopher from the face of the earth. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add him to the heap. All right, guys, that'll do it for today. A lot of gophers dead and probably a happy landowner. I'll have to come back here in a week or two just to clean up the stragglers. I think I got 13, 14 of them today. If she said there was 30, that means my job's only half done. Thanks for watching, guys.